Hey guys, Third Mario Brother here, back again with Let's Play Paper Mario, and this is the start of Chapter 6, but why are we in Tasty's house right now? Uh, let's find out. Um, before I started this part, I went ahead and did a few things. I bought a mushroom and a honey syrup, as you can see, and we're gonna be mixing those together for a reason that you will see very soon. It'll create a honey shroom, restores 5 HP and 5 FP. I also bought the Speedy Spin Badge from Ra Ralph's shop, but I can't equip it yet because I don't have, uh, excuse me, quite enough badge points. Now that we have that honey shroom that we just made, go ahead and talk to this yellow Yoshi right here on Lava Lava Island and it'll be like, hmm, <laughs> something smells really good. Is that delicious smell coming from something you're carrying? Whatever it is, I want to try it. Come on, what is it? Go ahead and give him slash her the honey shroom and ooh, thank you, it looks so good. Oh yeah, here, why don't you take this as a thank you from me. It grows in a place that only I know about. Trust me, it's good. And we get a melanin throwback to the entire Yoshi series. It recovers 15 HP. Not too great of an item, but you can make some recipes out of it. Plus, it's super rare, so I just figured I'd show how to get that. Anyway, now on to another mystical place. Um, but before we get into Chapter 6, there are two short things that I want to take care of. Don't worry, neither of them will take long at all. Um, one of them is in the Toad Town Tunnels, and the other one kind of is, but isn't at the same time. Anyway, let's just go ahead and head one of the ways we went before. We're not going to be finishing it in this part, and I'm not going to do the next... And I'm not going to do the next, um, blooper fight just yet, because there's an upgrade we can get, and I don't want to enter that area of the tunnels if we can't fully complete it yet. And, looks like I went the wrong way. Yay for errors already. This is totally foreshadowing the next chapter. No, actually, I think I'm going to be a little more experienced in this next chapter. Anyway, now that we have the Ultra Hama 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 Hama, go ahead and come through here. And we can upgrade a party member. I'm going to upgrade Bo because she is simply amazing. Alright, long pointless animations. Yes, we get that your graphics are top-notch. Nintendo 64. And now that that is all over with, I... Well, now we want to go back up to... Whoops, wrong place again. Now we want to go back up to Toad Town to find one more small thing. All the small things. Our pep, our pep band played that song this year. And if you guys haven't guessed from me mentioning my band once, because everyone remembers everything I say. Okay, that was a weird run. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> that was so weird. Um, anyway, yeah. If you couldn't guess, I'm in our band, and I play, um bells and the piano anything decent in here um this is the double dip badge you can use two items in one turn if you pay a little bit of fp we're not going to get that just yet though but we will eventually anyway yeah i'm in the band the pep band concert band i play bells and piano and that's sushi right there anyway go ahead and not equip sushi i was about to say that get out sushi come over here jump on the platform Jump on the pipe. Mario, go down the pipe. And spin, 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 and 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 and. Um, let me check something. Okay, now I was thinking of something from the second game again. Anyway, yeah, we get another super block, and I'm gonna upgrade Bombette for no reason, really. Yay! And that takes care of close to all the super blocks that we can get at this point in the game. Okay, what? What? Oh, it's in the background. That was kind of hard to tell. I don't know if it was for you guys, but it was for me. One more little thing that I haven't showed yet that I want to show you is, remember the guy in the um, dry dry outpost who said to spin jump in a house with a whirling roof three times? Well, do that and... Woohoo! Huh? Oh, this badge is quick change! I had no idea such a useful badge was in my attic. Mario, you are a very lucky man. You should put that badge on. This is the quick change badge, and you can change a party member and attack with it on the same turn. Um, 
With hit, you can change your party member infinitely without using up a turn. Very nice badge there. Now to somewhere else. I think I might just have, like, really bad hearing from... Well, not really bad. It's bad, but not, like, awful. I think I might just have bad hearing for my age. My eyes are fine, I guess. Just as long as I don't stare at the TV screen too long. Ooh. Making a lot of weird noises in this part. <laughs> and I hate it when I do that. Okay, anyway, come over here. From the quiz show, we learned that the star spirit is in flower fields. What's the mo thing most closely connected to flower fields? A flower, and oh look, flowers. Please, Mario, we need seeds from the bubbles. Um, sorry, I haven't been updating consistently, guys. Anyway, she, she'll basically tell you, go ahead and go find every seed. And at this point, if you haven't been collecting the seeds, it's so annoying to go back through the chapters. Because they're located in stupid spots. On your first playthrough, if you don't have all seeds, you will be angry. But anyway... Sorry for not updating consistently, guys. I've been playing the crap out of Super Frickin' Mario Galaxy 2. Alright. I'll get back on this topic later, but give her the last seed. Each seed plants a flower of its corresponding color, obviously. No, the red one actually plants black flowers, and the yellow one actually plants rainbow flowers. And that doesn't make sense. Wouldn't the door open up, and then three flowers come out of it? Well, that's... That, that, oh, I want realism in my flower games. Kia! I can't make my voice go that high. At first, it just looks like the flowers were blooming, but suddenly a door appeared. It must be... You must be able to go to flower fields from here. Mario, flower fields need your aid. Please help. All right. Here we go. Walk through the door, and even though you can see Toad Town on the other side... Come on. Chapter 6, Dark Days in Flower Fields. And we get a blob as the boss for this chapter, okay. And oh my god, look, it's Wispy Woods. What ho? Now, who might that be? Actually, this is Toadsworth's grandfather. Ho 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 ho. Up here, son. They call me Wise Whisters Wood. I'm the oldest tree here in Flower Fields, the land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. And you must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. You're trying your best to save the star spirits and the rest of your world, aren't you? Very noble. If that is true, then your arrival means a star spirit is here on our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas, I cannot right now. Flowerfields is in trouble. A creature named Huff and Puff and his followers have invaded our fair land not long ago. His creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky. It has been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We are all weak and fading. Wouldn't that, like, kill plants within, like, a day? Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Wouldn't that, like, kill the whole world in a day? Of course, it must be the Star Spirit that you're searching for. What ho? You're going to defeat the wicked Huff and Puff, then? He says ho a lot. <laughs> well, that would make the wishes of flower fields come true, but it's not that easy. Huff and Puff is up in the sky. Alright, we need a magical bean or something that grows high. It's Mario and the Beanstalk. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean somewhere. Um, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she is off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to go visit her and ask about it. And flowers and bubbles around here might have some useful information as well. I'd say talk to everyone. Okay, let's talk to one. Want to meet her? She's a little strange. She collects beans and grasses, but she doesn't grow them. Okay, so she's a seed maniac. Hmm. Well, let's go off to the east. Anyway, yeah, sorry about not updating too much lately, guys. But, God, that game is so much fun. Um, it's... It's a really, really huge game. I mean, the first Super Mario Galaxy was okay. And to be honest, I liked Sunshine more than the first Mario Galaxy, but... Um... Oh yeah, those are Amazing Daisies. Or, er, Crazy Daisies. Sorry, not Amazing Daisies. We might get into those later, I don't know. Anyway, here if you... Oh boy. Okay. Apparently we got hit by a first strike. Oh no, I'm allergic to bees. These things have a massive attack power, but low HP. Five attack power, they fly, yada yada yada. Not that complex, complex of an enemy. Let's go, belly flop sushi. Boom. All right, yeah. Um. But yeah, it's really challenging compared to all the other 3D Mario platformers. Even Sunshine's like secret levels. Anyway, if you hit these trees in this order, these three colorful rainbow trees. You get badge, the happy flower badge, which is the happy heart badge, except with flower points. Now let's see if we can get, I, get God, if we can actually get one of these things to show their attack. I guess I'll just go for this. I'm not being efficient here, and I'm not trying to. But um, all right. You already saw the zaps attack. Such a weird name, zap, zap. Yeah, here we go kind of relaxing, but it's super hard to time against. I'm not gonna get it, nope. 
already pressed A a hundred thousand times. In a way, it's a really long attack animation, so sorry for the boringness, guys. God. And yeah, it can make you fall asleep, which also is super annoying face. Okay, we got down to 1 HP in that chapter, but it dropped a... Luckily, it dropped a heart, so I got back up to 2, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna heal up a little bit here. But... Eh, I'll go for a little bit more. Now, these, if you go next to them, they flip over and sometimes they contain items. I'm not really going to be getting into too much of that, though. But anyway... Oh, look, a flower. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. Well, it looks like we're just about out of time, though. So, we are going to listen to her sad tale, or her stellar story, or her cool story, or her riveting tale in the next part, guys and continue with flower fields. See you then.